hey guys welcome to another video so this video is going to talk about the rx 100 rx 135 uh, conversion from four speed to five speed okay excuse the little mechanic so uh, basically we'll first talk about the rx 135 uh, conversion from four speed to five speed what is common what is not what needs to be changed and then we will quickly talk about the rx 100 to 135 conversion so that will cover almost everything okay so the big question why do people convert why do people convert so almost everybody who has ridden an rx 100 or rx 135 four speed always feels that you know there could have been one extra gear and that one extra gear is where the overall fun is actually you know you can go cruise at a very good speed if you have that one extra gear so now the question is why did yamaha give that one extra gear and what is the difference between rx 135 four speed and five speed see technically speaking the first second and third gear are common in 135 four speed and five speed so if if you look at the you know city run both of them perform almost similarly like you know both of them have the same gearbox same gear ratio up till third so they perform pretty similar the difference between a four speed and five speed is pretty evident on the highway like the moment you go on the highway you know the four speed kind of goes into a stress mode and it goes out of that cruise feel and then you know it it actually goes into that high vibration stress mode so in order to you know mitigate that and plus you know this guy launched so when this guy came with five gears that was a novelty so rx had to go with five gears and then they basically launched the rx 135 five speed so initially people didn't like it you know the looks were little uh, you know different i would say the catalytic converter was the first thing that people used to throw out but other than that uh, you know the bike was not a great hit it was a performer but not a great hit so after some years people started modifying their bikes and then people started putting these you know four speed i mean five speed gearboxes and four speed so you know things kind of changed for good um, so long story short this is something that most of the guys do uh, the five speed gearboxes are in great demand you know these things sell for a huge amount of money uh, right now you know they cost close to 12000 to 13000 rupees and if you ask me that's not worth it but still you know that's something that a lot of people do and the reason why you have tuned in to this video is obviously because you also are considering that okay so couple of differences that we are going to talk about which are visual is first of all you look at the left side cover so this is how the magnet side cover looks like in an rx 100 or rx 135 four speed and this is how the magnet cover looks like in a five speed so you know two parts um, there was one model of rx 135 which also came with this kind of covers we'll talk about that okay let's also show you the right side so this is how the right side um, or the clutch side cover looks like and in an rx 135 five speed this is how the right side clutch cover looks like um, one difference between the last model and this is the oil pump um, shaft and oil pump housing everything is different there so that is one thing that you need to be little careful about when you're buying these used okay so first thing that everybody looks at is the cover so we have covered the cover so next thing is the uh, cylinder as you can see here we do not have good light now so let me see if i can turn it around and get a bit more lighting yes that worked so you can see it says 4tl00 so 4tl00 is basically uh, 
RX135 4 speed and similarly there is a 4TL00 written on the head as well. So that is RX135 4 speed. Now I'll show you the 5 speed. As you guys can see it says 4TL10. So that is RX135 5 speed cylinder kit. Okay. So the carburetor in RX135 4 speed says 4TL01. Okay. So that's how you identify a 4 speed the carburetor. RX135 5 speed uh, carburetor says 4TL20. Okay. So this is how. Now let's talk about the footrest. The left side footrest, rear footrest is actually the same for RX135 4 speed and 5 speed. The difference is on the right side footrest. So this is the right side footrest of a 4 speed and this is the right side footrest of a 5 speed. You will see this extra portion here which is missing in this one. The reason why that extra portion is there is because here is where the catalytic converter bolts into the footrest. Okay. Now I'll show you the differences. In the so on the top that golden color one is the RX135 5 speed silencer, the catalytic converter. The bottom one is the RX135 4 speed normal silencer. Okay, so that's how the silencers look different. The RX100 silencer is slightly different. So we will do the comparison uh, in a different video. So that is not going to be covered in this. Video. Next major difference is the meter. So as you can see, this is an RX135 4 speed meter. The speed is 140 kilometers the maximum speed it's the same in both but you will see the gear markings it says one two three and four okay now let's take a look at the rx135 five speed meter this is an rx135 five speed meter you can see there are five gear markings okay this also goes till 140 but after a fourth there is a fifth gear as well next difference is the kicker if you notice the kicker is curved towards the engine for a 5 speed the kicker is curved away from the engine okay that is because it has to clear the catalytic converter the next two differences are one in the footrest and second in the brake pedal so for an rx135 5 speed the brake pedal is little bit more longer so that it can clear the catalytic converter the footrest is also slightly longer and there is uh, reinforcement in the bottom actually I have a footrest lying around somewhere but right now I couldn't find it so I thought for this video let's not target that so we have now spoken about almost all the differences now the only difference is in the appearance so this is one of the sticker pattern that the RX135 4 speed came in and that's the sticker pattern the RX135 5 speed came in. 5 speed only came in that kind of sticker pattern. It had uh, a maroon, a black, and I don't remember, maybe a silver. I don't remember very well. So, three colors. Another thing which is a misconception amongst people is when you open the lid, there is a different tank. It is called a fish mouth tank so that actually came because at that time the government has introduced different nozzles for petrol and diesel and at the same time there was a problem wherein if you fill petrol the petrol will you know spill out and sometimes that would lead to a fire so because of that the company introduced that that was a safety measure and no all rx135 high speed they are not fish mouth tanks so mine which is up there is not a fish mouth tank so that's another misconception people have okay so now we have spoken about all the differences there is no other difference that i remember uh, of course there are differences between the rx135 four speed five speed and the last model it was also you know uh, something that people used to call ace in Kerala but ACE is not what the model was called it is wrongly spoken as tiger like most of the people call it tiger but this kind of covers but tiger is not correct either so that model didn't have a name it was called RX 135 so basically that's how it was called so we are not going to call it a different so now let's get into the main aspect of it which is the conversion okay 
so basically speaking a five speed and four speed in the very ground basics is different in terms of the number of gears it has okay so if you get a gearbox technically you are converted or you have converted a four speed into five speed be it rx100 or rx135 to convert a four speed into five speed you have to put the gearbox so the first thing that anybody would replace is the gearbox that is the first thing you should replace because for that you have to split the crank and for any other modifications that you require or any other new things that you would require you won't um, need to split the crank so first thing that you will change is the gearbox okay once you have changed the gearbox the next thing that you would change or if i was in your place i would change is the uh, cylinder so the cylinder for four speed and five speed are different and we will use basically uh, the five speed cylinder if we are converting into the five speed okay next is the head the piston is same the crank is same in four speed and five speed so you can just forget that in an rx100 the crank is different so you will have to change the crank as well okay so now we have changed almost all the uh, main components the next thing which is different in an rx100 and rx135 is the magnet and coil in rx135 five speed also the magnet and coil and the cdi are different so if you want to upgrade to that you can but the four speed cdi in an rx135 will work in five speed as well and the four speed head should also work in five speed only difference is the compression is slightly higher if you put a five speed cylinder and a four speed okay so that's too much of information in a short time so probably if you want you can rewind and listen to it once again okay um so yeah we have done that now the visual changes so obviously you will get these kind of covers these kind of covers basically the left side cover is safe you don't have to worry about that but right side cover came in two different models okay so this type of uh, oil pump system came in the five speed and there is another system which came in the four speed so that four speed cover won't actually work for a five speed if you want to retain the oil pump so you will have to make sure that you have the right covers when you buy this so once you buy the cover the look is complete and other than rxz no other rx series bikes came with a um, front disc brake so that is not something that you need to be worried about so we have almost covered everything so the first thing that you will convert is the gearbox the clutch the same for all rx135 except rxg rxg has more teeth so basically that clutch is slightly different but you can still use it uh, the rxg clutch is superior to rx135 clutch so if you are using it then it's a good thing next thing if you are comparing it with rx100 the clutch is different so you will need a new clutch um, another important thing that i forgot to tell you guys is the crank case is same for all rx series rx100 rx135 um, four speed and five speed the crank is same for six speed which was not launched in india the crank is different and obviously you cannot put the six speed gearbox in a five speed crank case so that is something which is not possible so we have covered almost everything i hope this video was informational and you did like the video and try and understand a lot of effort goes into this kind of video especially when you know during these weekdays when i have regular office so i would really appreciate if you could like share and subscribe because a good chunk of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel and also you know i have started doing these english videos because of you guys so if you can help get more views in the english videos i'll create a separate english channel wherein we can have special english content so i would really appreciate you guys if you could share it maximum with your friends and you know make a strong business case for me to start an english channel or at least you know start making english videos regularly so thanks a lot for all your support thanks a lot for where you guys have taken us so far 
and we'll continue doing the same good work and you know you will see things improving in the future so until the next video we'll see you bye bye